Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today, we've got a bit of fabrication work to do. Right, as you've all seen in the previous video, I've had a bit of a move around and I had me bench grinder on the bench. So now, um, I've got a job coming up on the vector and I need my bench grinder. So what we're going to do today is just um, make a quick, easy stand. I've got an old wheel, um, steel wheel. I'm going to use that for a base. Bit of a post. Um, plate on the top just so we can mount the bench grinder to it. Um, I also need to make, I want to make the lead longer on the bench grinder. Just so I could take it outside or move it anywhere I want and I don't have to worry about where to plug it in so need to do that as well and um, I've got a wire brush cheap wire brush off eBay um, I want to get that mounted to it as well so uh, so yeah that's the plan for today just a quick fabrication job just so I can use my bench grinder with a wire wheel on um, I ba basically what I need to do I've got a load of bolts for the back axle. I want to get all them cleaned and treated in some way and or painted or anything like that just so we can start putting bits for the back axle back on after they've been cleaned and painted and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. So uh, I'll get myself sorted out, set up and uh, we'll uh, continue with the video. Right, so what I've done, um, I've already pre-cut the box section. Um, I've got a wheel. So what I want to do, um, it's all squared up. So a few tacks on there, bead of weld all around the bottom. And then just a plate on the top. And then bench around it on the top. I don't want to have it too high um, I think there with the plate on is about right for when I'm grinding and stuff like that so so yeah happy so far what I'll do is I think we'll put the plate on first and then we'll um, want a full bead around the bottom and there uh, yeah we should be sound then um, might make a hook some sort of hook on the back um, so we can store the cable neatly on the back but uh, yeah so far yeah happy days made up so I've already pre-cut the plate for the top purely because you don't want to see me doing loads of grinding and so um so yeah happy days so we'll get the we'll get the plate pre-drilled for the bench grinder and then uh, we'll get it I'll get the bench cleared off and uh, we'll get it welded up on the bench right set up on here now um, all the holes are marked and centre punched um, the bolts I'm using um, they're only M6's but what I've done is I put um, a 7.5mm drill bit on just so I've got a little bit of wiggle room in the, in the plate so. so yeah let's get these done
days all that's done let's turn that all right so uh give this a bit of a clean now and then uh we'll get set back up on the bench ready to weld it right I'm set up here now um what i need to do make sure i'm square in the middle of the plate and make sure I'm square horizontally as well so what I'll do is I'll measure up first make sure it's in the center of the plate then I'll put check for squareness on the horizontal and then chuck on a few tacks still making sure it's square every time I give it a good tack and then yeah we're pretty much done there then uh, what we need to do then is get it on the wheel I'm not sure if I can get the wheel on the bench because of the height because it's not far off touching the roof but we'll give it a go and uh, yeah happy days oh bang on there I never knew I just placed it as well Happy days. So I'll check now vertical and I'll get I'll get me over square for that and then uh, we'll knock on a few tacks. Right, it's leaning that way. So We'll get a tack here. Yeah, we'll get a tack there first. Sound there as well. Right, so we'll double check that. days right I'll uh, before I go any further I'll move the bench behind there move these caster wheels I've got here which have done another job and uh, we'll give that a full weld we'll get the wheel on the bench give it a bit of a clean up with the grinder and um, yeah we're pretty much nearly there then I um, still need to make a hook if I've got any material here so if not I'm sure there's, there's something here I can make a hook for on the back well it'll be up here so we can hook the um, cable onto and we can get a good I don't know 8-10 foot on the cable that way then we can move it around anywhere I need to um, if I need to put it outside, I've still got a good length of cable to hook it up, so yeah. 
So yeah, I'll move these, we'll get this fully welded and then get the wheel on here. Right, all tidied up. So we'll get this fully welded now and then we'll get the wheel on here. Days. I should wear black gloves, but I am good in the air at the minute. Alright, we'll give that a minute to cool down and then we'll get the the wheel on for the base. And uh yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so having problems getting that tacked up on the bench, so I've tacked it up on the floor. So it's all tacked up now. Um what I need to do now, I'm gonna full bead down the whole lot at the bottom, and um yeah, we're pretty much done then. Still need to make a hook. So I've either, I'll have a look to see if there's anything here I can use for a hook. I've got no round bar, so we'll have a look to see what we've got. Might have something lying down under the bench or something. So uh, yeah, we'll get this done. Have a look for a hook, and then we'll get on to wiring the bench grinder up with a longer lead. And uh, yeah, we'll see what see what we can do with a hook. But yeah, so we'll get this welded, and uh, we're not far there. Not sure whether to paint it yet or just leave as is. Maybe a quick paint down the welds, and then we'll see what I've got on in spray or whatever. But yeah, let's get this welded up. sound not the best looking welds but I'm not really too bothered purely for what it's getting used for it's not structural it's just for something that it can be dragged on the bit around the garage so yeah you know happy days I'd right, find something now for a hook and uh, yeah we're pretty much done then on this side of it and then we'll get the bench grinder apart um, make the cable longer and uh, yeah take this off now I'll find a hook first or something for a hook or make a hook so yeah alright looking in the scrap bin I'm going to come across this so what I'm thinking of doing is just welding the full thing on and then we can put the um, cable on there so it doesn't stick out any further than what the base is so yeah I think I'll get that stuck on there get myself set up and I'll uh, get this welded on right, I've got that ready now um, 
doesn't really matter where it goes, it takes just for holding the cable on. So, so we'll get a couple of tacks on there, give that a full weld, and then uh, yeah, we're pretty much done then welding side of things. So what we'll need to do then is extend the cable, bolt it on, and uh, jobs are good then. Doesn't have to be perfect, but happy days. Right, nice. that's done there now. Um, basically, now what we can do is we'll get the we'll get this on the floor we'll get the bench grinder on the bench and um, we'll rewire that up with a longer lead and then uh, yeah we're good to go then happy days right now all the stands made I'm well happy with how it's turned out the welds aren't the best but I'm not going to be arsed um, it's there to do a purpose and that's to mount the bench line or two and to be fair it's not that heavy so it's going to be easy to move around if I need to one day maybe I can put a set of casters on it you know you know something like that or do something with it but I'm happy with how it is at the minute so happy days now I need to the bench grinder, it's only got a small lead on it, probably 15, 1600 mil. And uh, I want to make it at at least 8, 10 foot. So we'll uh, get the cover off the bottom and uh, we'll uh, put a new lead on. I could extend this, but to be honest, it's not. I've got plenty of cable, so I might as well just put a complete new piece in so so we we'll get a couple of screwdrivers and we'll whiz the bottom off and uh, yeah we'll crack on yeah three wires pretty simple straightforward get them out new ones in happy days right that's what I've done I've actually done it the full length of the garage and the garage is six meters so a nice six meter cable there that's plenty enough that gives me the opportunity I can plug it in anywhere I want in the garage and if I plug it in closest to the door I know I can go six meters away from the from the door so happy days right that's all back together how it should so we can put the base on now um, if we wanted to we could actually mount this on Sound that happy with that. Um, what we can do, get a plug on it. Um, then we can get the wire brush on it that I want. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much there then. Mount it onto the new frame. Happy days. Let's get a plug on it. All done, nice and neat. Right, 
Right, sound. That's all done. Quick tidy up. Um, we'll get the wire wheel on and get it bolted on. All right. Got the wire wheel. Um, get this open and uh, we'll get it fitted. Right, so we've got the nuts off. Um, this does come with what they like spaces, so. That's pretty much how it'll be. Um, I think I'll chuck the side cover back on as well. I wasn't gonny, but I think I will. Happy days. Yeah, we'll get that tightened up and uh, I'll cut back in. Right, that's all on now. Um, I'll put the cover back on and uh, yeah it's happy days so what I'll do is I'll move you around and we'll get this bolted on and then uh, jobs are good then alright we'll get this mounted on now I like it alright so that's it um, Happy days. I'm, I'm made up with how it's come out, so um, I'm not going to bother painting it. I might just stick a bit of oil around the welds and you know save it from rusty. But um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with how it's turned out. Uh, got a nice long lead on the back, so yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm made up. Now I can move on to another job onto the vector and get parts cleaned up and stuff like that purely because I've got the wire brush on there. Um, I could use the drill but I've got a bench grinder that's not mounted to a bench it just keeps getting moved down from here there and everywhere. So uh, yeah I thought I'd build this. So happy how it's turned out so nice easy little project so if you like what I've done like subscribe share drop some thoughts and comments down below maybe you might have done it a different way or I don't know but uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll uh, hopefully see you in the next one cheers bye